hello Rock YSD and everybody join us online. Thank you. We have some breaking news. I'm Brooks and I'm Breck. We have some breaking news about the 2021 RISD bond proposal. That's right, Breck. Well, look who's here joining us again. It's Dr. V. Jeez, you're everywhere. <laughs> Dr. V, we heard that our first video reached over 3,000 views. That's incredible. Brilliant. Yes, on the down low, we are in negotiations with some big name stars to be announced at a later date. But enough about us. Word on the street is that it is the last week of early voting in the 2021 bond proposal. Dr. V, is that true? Thanks, Breck. Yes, we've been very busy informing our community about this bond proposal. Just want to remind everybody that the early voting ends Friday, October the 29th, and the election day is Tuesday, November the 2nd. So a reminder for those dates. Geez, time had flown by so fast. Dr. B, do you want to tell everybody about the uh, two bond proposals? Yeah, thanks, uh, Brooks. Um, Proposition A includes two ninth grade campuses to relieve high school overcrowding, one for Rockwall High School and one for Rockwall Heath High School, a new middle school to provide relief for Kane Middle School and establish peer feeder patterns for our families, additional classroom space to existing middle schools to support our sixth graders moving to current middle schools, which then increases our capacity at all elementary schools, and replacing one of the oldest elementary schools in Rockwall ISD, Rochel Elementary School, with a new building on site. Modernizing security and improvement facilities district-wide and purchasing buses to maintain a safe and modern fleet. Proposition B includes updating classroom computers and Chromebooks in need of life cycle replacements at all campuses, providing interactive multimedia displays for classroom, enhancing Wi-Fi connectivity in classrooms, and upgrading the technology infrastructure to accommodate new and additional usage. And one more thing, Proposition A and B normally would be one bond proposal, but due to legislative rule, we have to separate out the technology into a separate proposition. So voters would have an opportunity to vote on both propositions A and B. Well, thanks Dr. V to come into our school and sharing us and the viewers this late breaking news. Folks, you heard it here from the man himself, Dr. V. Villarreal. JJ, Dr. Villarreal. And, and Brooks and Breck. Now let's have a little fun. Dr. B, JJ, pancakes or waffles? Pancakes or waffles? You know, there's a new restaurant that serves a really good breakfast over there by Kroger. And the last time I went, I had pancakes. I thought you were going to say the Waffle House. Oh, that, that would have been good. All right, Dr. V, salty or sweet? Hmm. Man, I really like pretzels and um, I really like cake, but I'm going to go with salty. Dr. V, let me ask you, the Houston Astros or the Atlanta Braves? Hey, this is a tough one, but I'm from Texas. I'm going to go with the Houston Astros. What a surprise. <laughs> hey, thank you, Brooks and Brack, for helping our community learn more about this very important bond proposal. My pleasure.